What is up guys, this is John aka Pokemon and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another episode of why you should use and today we're going to be telling you guys why you should use Passimian in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'm very excited about this Pokemon but it is not the only monkey Pokemon we're going to be talking about. Sam, what are we going to be talking about on your channel? We are going to be talking about Oranguru, the Orangutan Guru Pokemon. He is very cool but first stick around and we'll see about Passimian. Yes, and I really hope you guys are excited. Both of these Pokemon, while they're both monkeys, new to this generation, they're both very different, used in different formats, so I think you guys will be learning a lot of cool things. But without further ado, let's get right on into it. Passimian is a Pokemon I never thought we'd see coming. It's, you know, a mix between a monkey and uh, sports. You know, it's the rugby monkey from all the Chinese leaks that we heard about for so long. I just couldn't believe that that would actually be a thing, but it looks really cool, and I don't know, I'm a big sports fan, I like a lot of different, you know, sports played. I'm not gonna talk about which ones, you, you, you get a whole argument in the comments over different ones, different countries, all that matters, it's, it's really cool to see something like this, not something I really expected, and uh, I've really fallen in love with the design. And Persimian is a real team player. They form groups of roughly 20 individuals and their mutual bond is remarkable. They will never let down a comrade. They will not drop the ball. A Simeon is a fighting type Pokemon, which is one of my favorite types, and it's just a pretty good type in general. Uh, defensively, it's not like amazing, but it's not bad at all. It doesn't have a bunch of weaknesses. It actually only has three weaknesses. Uh, only had two, but then they had to introduce Fairy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, offensively, fighting is a really strong type. Most fighting types have, you know, really high attacking stats. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit, but just in general, you know, a fighting stab's going to do a lot. They get a lot of nice coverage and. He can hit pretty hard, he can handle himself in battle. In terms of stats, Persimian's stats are really cool actually, I quite like them, because his speed is kind of middling, his attack stat is huge, so he's looking like he's going to be a wall breaker here, just hitting really hard. But what's interesting is, his HP is actually really high at 100, and defense stat at 90, he's going to be able to take hits, he's going to be able to switch in on things, and then immediately threaten them with that attack stat, which is really nice. The special defense stat is a bit low, so you have to be a bit careful on that side of things. Maybe an assault vest could help that out, we don't know. Um, but then also the special attack stat being really low I quite like, because it means that this Pokemon is really optimized, it's min-maxed, so that the stats are all in the, in the right places, which is cool. Now, Simeon actually has two abilities. Uh, has one that's clearly for doubles and one that can actually be used in general but it's also really good for singles. So the doubles ability receiver, um, that ability, I think it's a new ability and it says that the Pokemon copies the ability of a defeated ally. So uh, in doubles it can't be used in singles so make sure it's here. When you're using this and you want it to work it's got to be doubles. Uh, whatever Pokemon you have next to it, if that faints and Pestimian's still out there, it will get the ability of that Pokemon. So depending on what combination you want to use that could be really good. Obviously, if you just go for Protect and, you know, your other Pokemon faints, that could be amazing for Passimian. There's a lot of possibilities. I'm not going to go into any of them because it's really almost countless possibilities with that. So, uh, something to really try out and have fun with. Its other ability is Defiant, and that says the attack is raised by two stages when the Pokemon has its stats lowered. Sadly, this is not released, but when it is, this is going to be huge, and it's really going to make this Pokemon a lot better, probably in both formats. I mean, if it gets intimidated in either singles or doubles, its attack will go up one. If its stats go down in any other way, you know, its attack goes up two. With 120 attack, that is absolutely terrifying for your opponent. So I cannot wait for them to release that, as it's going to make this a huge powerhouse. Persimian gets access to that lovely close combat, a very good spammable fighting type move which is going to hit like a nuke, it's great. He also gets some really nice coverage in the form of rock slide that can hit any birds that might want to switch in, iron head hits the fairies, and earthquake hits those poison types, so it's really got some quite nice coverage there which I really like. But what's also very, very important for him is he gets U-Turn, which is very nice for fighting types because it means they can use choice items really well. So if you are going to lock yourself into something, you could actually just go for a U-Turn if you think that a wall is coming in that you won't be able to hit very hard, and then get into another threat, keeps that momentum, and is really, really nice. 
The other thing that might be worth looking into is Bulk Up. I do think that U-Turn is going to be very good on this Pokemon, so like Bulk Up and U-Turn don't really go together because if you're setting up, you do, you'll just lose your boosts if you U-Turn out. But on separate sets, I think that they could both be really interesting. With Pass Simeon, me and Sam both agree that some sort of choice variant would be really good with it. So I'm going to go over one set, Sam's going to go over another. There's not a huge difference, but it, it really does change how you use it. Like the set itself will look pretty similar, but it is a lot different. So I decided to go with a Choice Scarf set. Uh, it really makes that 80 speed a lot more usable and a lot more threatening because now that you're choiced in, you're going to be a lot faster. And that 120 attack stat is still really nice. And even though there's other fighting types with U-Turn, you know, like uh, me and Chow, this guy has a lot of defense and HP. So you can actually switch into hits and immediately threaten them out. You know, late game, you can really... Um, clean up a team and just a choice scarf u-turner is really nice so we are going to have the receiver ability which is completely useless in um, singles in doubles obviously there's a lot more possibilities with that but uh, when it comes to choice scarf i mean it's just not really going to do too much obviously max speed and uh, max attack with a jolly nature and then we're going to go with u-turn close combat for stab uh, earthquake going to be able to hit the poison types and also just some you know a, a lot of other types i mean uh, Earthquake's just a really good uh, coverage move in general, and Iron Head to hit the fairies. I feel like that's some really good coverage. Obviously, depending on the meta you're playing in, you might have some different coverage. Maybe you want Rock Slide to hit the flying types uh, and other things like that, but uh, this is a really cool and reliable set. I really love um, fighting types with U-Turn. The set I'm going to talk about is very similar. Instead of a choice scarf, I'm considering a choice band. And the only other real changes that we're going to see are instead of a jolly nature, maybe an adamant nature just to hit that bit harder. So that could be really important. Um, and then maybe considering trying to get quick attack on this set because it actually hits really hard. I've used this in um, some showdown battles and what I like about it is the quick attack does over 50% to Feromosa. There's quite a few failure things in the tier at the moment that quick attack can pick off. Even though it's not um, it's a stab move, it's not a fighting type move, uh, it still can hit hard with that adamant nature and the choice band. So that's something that you can consider. I think that choice band is really good. It means that if Toxapex wants to switch in with a banded earthquake you're actually doing a ton of damage so it's not a brilliant switch in so yeah i quite like the banded set and that is going to be it in why we believe you should use basimian in pokemon sun and moon this is a really awesome pokemon i really love it and i think it's really useful competitively as well so hopefully you guys will all go out and try him out but we have another pokemon we're going to be talking about today on sam's channel so please go to his channel make sure you're subscribed and watch that one because I think you're going to have a lot of fun with both of these monkey Pokemon, but that is enough from me. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed. The support has been incredible, so thank you guys so much. But uh, that is all I have. I will talk to you guys later, and until then, peace.